high at bedtime, can hang out at home, ready to taste some delicious wines from Heinen's Pick of the Vine collection. Pick of the Vine is our hand curated, hand selected wine section uh, that are wines that are under $15 a bottle that are amazing values and taste amazing too. Today we'll taste a couple of our uh, most popular and new selections and uh, have a really casual way and a fun way to do a wine tasting without all the uh, serious bells and whistles and we hope you enjoy. Our first wine today is a brand new discovery for our Pick of the Vine section. It is called Ambervale Chardonnay. Um, it's from California and in, in five words or less, the amazing thing or the uh, descriptors that we use for this is big, or are, big, rich, buttery Chardonnay. Um, Chardonnay is really uh, a white grape and white wine varietal that really benefits most from oak. Um, Chardonnay, truth be told, on its own is a kind of mild, almost neutral tasting grape. Um, the oak influence in Chardonnay does a few things. Not necessarily making it taste better, but more complex. So the oak influence is what gives you that buttery characteristic. Um, that kind of uh, spicy characteristic, the rounder mouthfeel. Um, and that is what oak really does to Chardonnay and contributes to it. And essentially, that is what has made Chardonnay um, the most popular white wine, not just in America, but the world over. So we were looking to find um, a Chardonnay that really over-delivered on its price point, just like all the Pick of the Vine selections do, but we really wanted to capture that big, rich, bold flavor. And with the Amber Vale, we've absolutely done that. When you first smell a wine like this, and I will always uh, go back to my default of uh, serving white wines or rosés or bubbles. You don't want to serve them too cold. Uh, either 30 minutes in the fridge is plenty, or pull out about 10 minutes before you serve. Um, any wine that's too cold will, will mute the aromatics and the tastes. So you're paying for the aromatics and tastes, so you want to give that wine the best chance it can to succeed and uh, provide the ultimate amount of pleasure. So in smelling this wine, right off the bat, it portends to exactly what it is, which again is that big, rich, buttery Chardonnay. And maybe there's other kind of uh, descriptors as well that a wine like this can provide. It's very ripe, so sometimes um, I'll, I'll find things like honey uh, as, a, as an essence in here. And it just, it, it smells like you want to drink it. So let's try that, because I've convinced myself into tasting it. If a wine can smell big, which it really can't, but it can smell complex, this one almost kind of does. All the flavors that we uh, we smelled in the wine are, are absolutely um, transmitted or um, are into the palate as well. Um, as big and rich and buttery as it is, what we really appreciate about this wine is it's crisp and it's clean. It's not cloying. It's not, um, it's not like chewing on a, a stick of butter by any means. There's some... Um, uh, vibrancy and acidity that invites another sip. And actually, vibrancy, acidity are really, really important when uh, you pair uh, any wine with food. And today, and this is a classic pairing, this is the Heinen's Triple Cream Brie. Triple Cream refers to the extra buttercream that's in there. It's 70% butter fat, so it's the cardiologist special. Um, so if we're going to do butter, we should do butter along with it. So this guy, uh, it, it comes in this cool little uh, serving size. And brie is really all about richness and butteriness. So let's try that and then taste the wine. If you like brie, you're gonna love this one. Big, rich, buttery, and I've used buttery about 15 times, I apologize. But just like the wine, you wanna make sure that you pull the cheese out maybe 10 minutes before you serve. Because again, it, it'll, it'll open up the cheese and um, enhance the creaminess and provide great enjoyment. Let's taste it. Chardonnay and Brie, it's really where it's at. Delicious, fun, complex. Um, it, it's exactly what you want from a big, rich, butter experience. You know, a lot of times our customers will ask us, does Italian wine really work well with Italian food? And the short answer is, yeah, absolutely. Um, there's a lot of reasons why. Personally, um, I'm a big fan of the, uh, the movement of uh, what grows together goes together. So, um, Foods that are either inspired by Italian cuisine or are from Italy themselves always, for whatever reason, uh, taste better with Italian wines. Um, I think one of the reasons, though, is that a lot of Italian reds have a, a nice bit of acidity to them, 
And when you're talking about tomato-based sauces and pizza or pasta, um, the acidity of the tomato sauce is really, really beautifully uh, um, uh, balanced out by the acidity in these red wines. So what you're left with when you have a perfect pairing and perfect balance is uh, the synergy of flavors all work well together. Nothing dominates it. Uh, acidity is a, a tough thing because uh, left unchecked, they can dominate a wine. But when you pair the acidities, all the flavors come out. Um, and the rustic kind of flavors with the garlic and the savoriness, uh, Italian wines uh, really just are home runs with Italian-inspired cuisine. Uh, this really fun and delicious wine from Italy uh, is a grape known as Primitivo, or called Primitivo. And really, depending upon who you talk to, um, there are people that, that believe, as do I, and, our, and a lot of our folks do, that Primitivo, if it is not exactly, it is very, very closely related to what is thought to be the, the native or um, uh, native sun grape of California, and that's Zinfandel. Um, and there's a lot of reasons to think that. DNA testing has proven that there's a link. How close? They're still not sure. But um, red Zin and Primitivo share a lot of the, the, the characteristics of flavors, uh, acidities, and aromatics that will lead you to believe that it's probably uh, an accurate um, assertion. So when you smell this wine for the first time, uh, it jumps out of the glass. It's, it's just so big and intensely aromatic. Um, honestly, some wines actually are more fun to smell and taste, certainly not these, but um, some actually, uh, they, 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 uh, they're just such a joy to smell that you, you can't possibly believe that the wine can actually taste as good as it smells, but this one does. I try, I trust me on that one. So what hopefully you'll, uh, you'll notice are ripe red fruits, um, ripe berries, and a little bit of spice, which hopefully will translate to the palate, but let's make sure. Yeah, right, delicious, fruit forward, perfect, deliciously, um, delicious uh, tasting and drinking Italian red. And today, without the benefit of having a big bowl of pasta or a big uh, slice of pizza, we have something even more dangerous. And these are the Heinen's Parmesan crisps. They say that um, you can't only eat one potato chip. You certainly cannot eat one of these. These are as uh, addictive as they are delicious. And I apologize in advance if you've not had them, because you too will be hooked on these. So let's give this a taste. So delicious. It's baked Parmesan cheese. And what you're going to see, all, all cheese has a, a big hit, a hit of umami, but this one, it makes your mouth water with an umami complexity and, and, and saltiness. Let's see what happens with the wine. It just makes that wine um, blossom with ripe flavors. Um, such a great little fun balance. Um, if you just want to drink it because it tastes good and eat it because it tastes good, that's fine too. But really, it's fun and delicious. It really speaks to how versatile this wine is. So if you're just looking for an everyday Italian uh, red wine and all the pick of the vine wines are everyday drinkers that we really think uh, give a lot without costing a lot, this is a stunning Ready to have with all your favorite Italian cuisines. Thanks for joining me today. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed these wines as much as uh, I've enjoyed talking about them. And as always, if you have any questions about these wines or any uh, wines that we sell at Heinz, please ask our team. We're happy to help. And uh, until we see you at next month's tasting, cheers.